Hey, welcome back everybody. Um, this is CC with I'm Mystic and Mr. If you guys haven't seen my channel before, I am a now part-time reseller. I used to be full-time, but now I'm back at my full-time slash part-time job at the stadium here in town. Um, this video is going to be a Poshmark update. I know in one of the videos I did previously, I said that I didn't want to do Poshmark because of how, like, of all the status pings that you get, and all the notifications, and gotta share, 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 and follow people, and get followed, and all that. Save myself to have something, turn my notifications off, but I do make sure I go check it frequently, so that's how I know I get things, but it would just kill me if I literally got a ping every time that something was shared, or every time I got a like. I'm gonna look in weird ways, because I'm using my iPad, my little camera that way, but I'm here, so you guys get the point. So basically what I'm going to do is just share with you guys just the raw strat, uh, stats straight from my phone. Let's see if it'll catch it or not. Hopefully it does. Catch it, yeah. So I'm going to get on my uh, posh stats here. And definitely uh, you guys are going to get the raw deal because I got a couple bad reviews. I didn't get a whole thousand good five stars. But I did make a pretty good few sales. So, um... Go to stats. All right. So far, I've been a posture since 7 13 2018. Today's date is um, 8 23. So, July 13th is when I started. Today is August 23rd. So, a little over a month. And I have available listings 160. 100 and, yeah, 160. Got 160 available listings. You guys see that? There we go. Total value, 5,000 and some change, blah, blah, blah. Let's scroll on up some to listing sold. I don't know what the average is on Poshmark. I don't know if I just got lucky or if maybe I just had some, um, a lot of things that people wanted. I don't know. Being as luck, whatever. But I got 26 listings sold. For that period of time, as you guys see, for 674 bucks, it takes me 2.1 days to ship. Um, my average rating is 4.3, and then as you, it's backwards. Um, I don't know how to get it the other way for you guys. Sorry about that. But shares, I'm at 1,634. Um, let's see what else is on this thing. Direct shares, I'm at zero. New postures shared, I'm at 17. And postures recruited, I'm at one. So, uh, average total ratings, I only got 16 total ratings. Five, I mean, nine, five star, four, four star, two, three star, zero, zero stars. And one, one star. One, one star, zero, two stars. That's what it was. Three, two, three stars, four, four stars, and nine, five stars. So those are my star ratings. Um, and then item description. One of them, I got one mark for one item description, one mark for item cleanliness, and then three for other, where it says buyer mentioned areas of improvement. Let's see if it gives me a little up here. Okay. Yeah. So areas of improvement, three other, item description, and one cleanliness. And the cleanliness and item description were from two different ones. The cleanliness one was a one with a stain on it that I, that I missed. And I apologize. I was like, I wish I could have just refunded you because I hate when that happens. But um, item description, it wasn't my fault. They did, it, was an, it was a measurement mix-up, but what I'm doing now is I'm starting to take measurements. I really didn't do that before too much unless they requested it, and if they requested it, then I would go through it. But uh, I, I, if I do have one suggestion for you, I would suggest, suggest is do the measurements ahead of the game. Keep that little stick right there. I keep it. It's right here on the table. I'm not going to get that for it, though. Um, keep that little measurement, the little yellow measure tape. It's the little easiest thing ever. Um... So yeah, that's my Poshmark stats. I think that's really well considering that, like I said, a month and a half, I just started. Last year, I did do Poshmark. I gave it a go. I downloaded it, probably up listed maybe five things and just 
could not stand how many notifications I got. And I even deleted that app within a week. But now that I'm on it, I'm loving this. This is like, to me, I'm getting more pings on this than I am on Macari. And I used to get a lot on Macari. So now it's like eBay, Poshmark, Macari. Depop, I still haven't gotten myself first sale on Depop, but maybe I just need to get on there and do more sharing and uh, be a little bit more active in the social aspect of it. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually pretty proud of proud of where I'm at with Poshmark. So anybody out there um, anticipating it or thinking they don't want to do it, give it a go. What's the, what the heck? Because it's actually worked out pretty well for me. Let me show you guys a couple of things that I actually sold. See if you could be able to see it. I had my first sale was a Nike pullover sweater that sold the very first 10 minutes that I listed it. It was pretty cool. That sold 10 bucks because it had like bleach staining on the sides and the back and I, I put everything in there and the person didn't care. I think she probably just was going to crop top it. I did a lock box, a cool kids lock box where I just th throw a bunch of kids clothes, a couple pair of shoes, accessories in a box listed. They paid 20 bucks for it. I was happy to get it out the crib. So if you guys are interested, I do a lot of lot boxes or mystery boxes on my page. You can go look it out at, uh, check it out at Honest to Goodness at Poshmark. I, I haven't gotten any bad reviews on those, um, luckily. I showed you guys this Hugo Boss suit in a video before. This sold, told you guys, for $150. I was super stoked about that. Uh, Adidas zipper hoodie. Miami Dolphins v-neck shirt, woman's v-neck, Ugg boots, the Ugg boots weren't really in good condition so I only listed them for 25 bucks as you can see the leather, the leather in the back, but this one was one on the, uh, on cleanliness but I put that these shoes was dirty so I, listen. What else? We can't make everybody happy. Yeah, she gave me four stars in it, but put cleanliness. Who cares? I care, actually. Let me not say who cares because I actually really do care. I got a North Face jacket or had a North Face jacket. I think both of these sold on here, actually. I got I got that North Face jacket at the cash carry for a dollar. I got those Ugg boots at the cash carry for a dollar. The Miami shirt, Ben's, Adidas hoodie, I, I got from a box of stuff that I got from the UK. I wish I would have did a haul video on that because I'm super stoked. Workout lot box. I uh, love doing these because I get tons and tons of name brand women's stuff. So as you see, I got some pink, some Adidas, some Nike, some Champion. You get a little bit of everything in there. I, I'm known to throw some Lulu in there. Uh, LuLaRoe is always a standard because I get that so frequently now. It's like not even a, a hot thing anymore. Zara sweater couple coach purses an adidas windbreaker i like to get a lot of like windbreakers retro kind of like retro style or the boho style this is what i mean boho style like these are forever 21 but these are like some super cute boho pants if they were my size she would have been mine Tommy jacket that I got from the UK lot. Super, super funky fresh. Free people. Got this for my cash and carry for a dollar. So for 20 bucks. Some cost. I think they're, these, this is the cost. Forever with that brand name. This is what I got free with the Hugo Ball suit from the guy from Plato's closet. Another North Face jacket. Click on it. Nah, it's not going to click on it. Yeah, North Face jacket. Do do. My super duper funky happy find our mom this uh fendi bag you see i sold it for cheap 150 vintage fendi everything in me wants her to return this bag back to me 
I want it back. Then uh, another a coach crossbody, another dollar fine from the cash and carry. I sold it for kind of cheap because the strap wasn't too low. When I look at these photos, like through my iPad on here, they look like they're really good quality photos. I actually think they're pretty good, actually. Club Monaco vest. Another blazer vest. Uh, baby girls, lot box. 12 bucks. I just fill up a, a one of those regional boxes, not the medium flyer boxes, but the medium box. box. Um, onesies, shoes, socks, thingies for the hair, whatever, all types of baby girl things. Another score from the uh, UK lot, uh, Winnie the Pooh, 100 Acres Farm. This is super cute. It's Winnie, Tigger, Chillin, Piglet. That's super cute. A Call Me Even Mesh. I got this from Plato's Closet. I went to Plato's Closet on a humbug because I saw another video that they sourced from Plato. And I don't know why in my mind I never thought about it. But I went there with my son one day when I picked him up from school. And I picked this up for six bucks. Look what I sold it for. Call Me Eden. I think the brand could have sold for more, but I didn't care. She left me a super cute love note. I was happy. Uh, Adidas swim shorts. These are like extra long for men. Uh, fry booties. The fry. Is it the fry or the fray? Either way, whatever. I, I picked these up for $3 at my cash and carry. The cash and carry that I get from does uh, thread up returns. And Macy's returns and shelf pulls. So the clothes that they get is all high end. So this was obviously a thread up one. But the Cash and Carry sells wholesale boxes of clothes. And I can get it by the cases or get it by the pallet. But I just go, I'd rather go to the Cash and Carry and just pick item by item for a dollar or three dollars and resell. But I have gotten wholesale cases of hard goods from them. And I do really well with them. Me and, um, and my boyfriend are getting ready to start setting up at this corner store. And he's letting us set up our tent. And we're going to be like our own little flea market privately right here at this little corner store. We're going to do that probably every week now. I work every football game and basically every major event going on here at the, the Dolphin Stadium. So I have to keep managing my business but still kind of dedicating my time to them because they asked me to come back. So they wouldn't have done it if they didn't need me. Trust me, it's a whole story that you guys will eventually get about my life at the hard rock but right now everything's good i ain't gonna complain seven diamonds wool jacket got this from the guy at plato so that that guy i wish i could find him and just throw him like a hundred dollar bill because the stuff that I, the money that i made from him was pretty all right this is a a masoni wool blend color block aztec print um, dress I sold that for 30 bucks that went good so those were my Poshmark sales as you guys see I gave you guys the whole list of all 20 some odd items that sold that is exciting for me um, let me see how many sales 26 sales listed so that's awesome oh, let me see my Posh ambassador, ambassador status maybe I'm on my way to greatness not so much, 66%. Got a long way to go. No, I'm not too far away. See, I'm meeting most of their stats. So, we'll get there. Alright guys, I'm not going to drag this out too long. Like I said, I had a long day at work today, so I do want to like get... I brushed my hair and like tried to wash the oil off my face just so I could look pretty decent for the video. So, um, the kids are out tonight, Grandma and Elijah's with his father tonight, so I'm just going to be doing a little bit of listing, doing a little bit of house organizing, a little bit of packing and moving soon. I'm moving in like three months, but I'm going to take my 
time than I have now and start packing because this is going to be one long journey of packing. So, you guys have a great night. Um, list away, thrift away, and be blessed. Have a good one.